It's week 67 of Zerus. I want to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 67 of Zer. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for January 2019, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, Zer is located in this wonderful place we call the Traveler. And he's actually in the hangar, in this area over here, on the second floor. So let's go ahead and find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up dude? I got a new emote, man. I got a new emote. So, like always, we're going to go ahead and start with the left-hand side. The weapon of the week is the Merciless, which is an exotic fusion rifle. Then we have the Knucklehead Radar for the Hunter, the Aeon Safe for the Titan, as well as the Apotheosis Veil for the Warlock. We're going to go ahead and start with the Knucklehead Radar. So, a treasure perk on this is Upgraded Sensor Pack, which provides radar while you're aiming, enhanced radar while crouching. Then we have Fusion Rifle Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands-On, Sniper Rifle Reserves, as well as Machine Gun Reserves. Now this actually has an ornament, um, and this is what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. It's a uh, Future War Cult or ornament, sorry. It co it's called Predestination, and unfortunately you do not get this ornament with uh, purchasing the Knucklehead Radar. So if you are one of those guys who likes using your radar and a lot of people in, com well, not really competitive PvP, but a, a lot of people in regular PvP love staring at their radar for some ungodly reason, then go ahead and buy this. It is definitely a good buy. Uh, I probably would rate it a tier 2 in anything that, or any game mode in PvP that allows you to have your radar, but it's probably going to be like a tier 4 to 4.5, maybe even just a tier 5 in PvE. Because you really don't need your radar that much in PvE, because you can actually see everything. Next is that we'll be going on is the Aeon Safe. And the treasure perk on this is Aeon Energy, which barricade grants energy to nearby Aeon cultists. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as uh, Machine Gun Scavenger. Now, Unfortunately, this does not have an ornament, but this thing is going to 100% get a <laughs> tier 4.5 in PvE as well as PvP. The Aeon Safe line of exotics are terrible, and I guess they're okay when you ever, whenever you actually use them with other people who has Aeon Safe or the Aeon line of exotics, but besides that, they're just terrible by themselves, all in general. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Apotheosis Veil, or the Warlock. And um, the intrinsic perk is Insatiable, which ability energy on super cast. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that. Then we have Allies get class energy. Terms of perk, I'm sorry. <laughs> Other uh, perks on this are Fusion Rifle Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands On, Sniper Rifle Reserves, as well as Machine Gun Reserves. And unfortunately, this does not have a ornament either, but it is okay. Now, this is a decent exotic. It's not the best. So in PvP, I'm probably going to rate it a tier 2 to 2.5. And p probably the same in PvE as well. I do feel like there are better exotics out there for the Warlock, and I probably would use those. Now, let's go over the weapon of the week. We have the Merciless. In terms of perk on this, it's Conserve Momentum, which non-lethal hits less in charge time. Then we have Chamber Compensator, Extended Mag, uh, Impetus, which reloading immediately after a kill increases weapon damage for a short time, as well as Fitted Stock. This has done pretty good in the raids, uh, primarily um, the one on Nessus, totally forgot what it was called. <laughs> uh, give me a second, I'm actually going to go to it real quick. Uh, la, 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 Leviathan, yay! So yeah, pretty good in the Leviathan raid. Probably still good, probably a still good exotic um, all around in PvE. But in PvP, I wish it could be a little bit better. So I'm probably going to give it a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvP. But definitely still a tier 1.5 to tier 2 in PvE. 
Then for your consumables, we have the Five of Swords, and that is for your Nightfall uh, Challenge card, as well as the Fitted Engram, which still does not give you Forsaken Exotics. I'm sorry. I wish I could change this, but unfortunately I can't. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.